on a new site. What's up, my people? We got the 160 with the mean ripper, four foot ripper. Got a lot. We got a lot to do here, but this phase, we're just gonna clear the stumps that was the lot was already cleared by someone else. We're coming in to stump it, and then if we're gonna address this road. We're gonna put a road in here, probably three, four hundred foot. Um, reshape it and get some drainage in it for it. All right, we're working our way down. There is a little frost in the ground. Wind chill, you know, that knocked it in. You could get eight inches of frost overnight, like nothing when you got wind and cold temperatures.
you know, the machine had to warm up, then you gotta get back into your sequence with the ripper and technique, and I haven't been on this ripper, I, almost over a year, uh, at least, I did a video on the ripper, probably two years, actually. Just been, you know, the little bit of stumping that I did, I used the bucket, because it's a pain in the butt to change this, because I don't have a quick connect, so, it's a nightmare. My next machine will have a quick connect, there's no doubt. But it's violent. You, you, it's like riding a, a, a bull in here. You get thrown around, you know? There's, an, there's a strong root right here. I just tried to rip the bottom ones down to the bottom of the lot. The ground's frozen down there from the wind chill. And I'm fighting it. It's throwing chunks at me, so sticking where more trees are where the frost didn't go in we're getting up on the hillside now so these trees are in a little bit stronger in the bottom that was wet you pull the whole clump out but this you actually gotta work at it a little bit not a big deal
on at this end. The frost is right in. The suns are pounding that ground. Feeling nice and nice. All right, one more cut here. I cut four corners on this one because I knew I would have to. All the way through. That means I probably got a tap root on this one. Yep. A lot, a lot of dirt here. A lot of dirt. Let me get around. Got my tail in the back. Makes a big difference. I'm trying to lift. Plus, with the frozen ground, the track slide. The minute you stick that ripper against it, she starts sliding like a toboggan. Oh, yeah, she's a breaker loose. Breaker, breaker. Come on. Nice. Easy there. See that rock come up? I let out of it because I knew it was going to fling. I saw that. All right. Look at that depot. Get sideways for me. If you get him sideways. Hang on. Let me show you something here. You get him sideways. I don't like doing it like this because it gets me hungry. Every time I put this thing up like this, I'll show you. It makes me hungry. Watch this. You get her sideways to you. Come on now, don't make me a liar. Come on, get over. Oh, she's heavy. Ah. I'm being stubborn here. It won't get sideways for me. Something's hung up here. There we go. There's another root in the bottom. Get on your shy, girl. Come on. I'm not going to be able to show you. It doesn't get on the side. All right. This is what makes me hungry right here. Doing this. It's like cutting the bajou. Nice and thin. Look at that. Oh, cut the bajou. Oh, Carl, what do you think of that, huh? Nice thin slices. Look at that. Don't that make you hungry? I guess you gotta be Italian to get it. Oh. Let's get this big girl with her family. Oh. Well, she's all stumped out, all piled up, ready to go, load out. We'll get the dozer here, blade this all off, fill in where we gotta fill in, get it a flat playing field for the house. We gotta knock this driveway in, it's gonna be a steepy. We'll have a little drainage. Try to get everything off to this side, away from the house, because the house is going in here, and this is a wicked belly here. So, uh, we'll play with that when we get to that point. In the D51, just blading off the highs, smacking them into the lows, and uh, just so it freezes level and we got a place to lay out a house, you know? This lot here has to be filled in. Would be my suggestion. Leave the house a little bit high and fill it in to get the water away because we are in a bowl. But just track and pack these divots where the stumps were. Make your life a lot easier. It gets really wet over here, man. Super wet, right where that sun is. When I pulled that one stump, there was nothing but like 10 inches of water under it. So right here, where it gets wet. Just over to the left, so hopefully it don't get stuck.
All right, all bladed off, tractor packed in the best it can. You know, it's wicked soft in here. You see it all cupping up. But um, yeah, let this wind and dry, maybe freeze, whatever. A little bit of roots in there, you know, that falls in and that will all get raked out as soon as we go to excavate that whole top layer. We got to get through that whole top soil layer and down in. But this house, like I said, this is a big gut, belly. I put the house up a little higher, fill in around it. That way we are guaranteed to keep the water out. Back on site. Five degrees out. Let's see what we got for a cold start. We got to try to scrape this down. Dozers don't like to scrape for us, so we'll see what we can get today. If not, we're going to just cut in some uh, swales on the each side, and that will uh, allow the water to get off. And then we'll just have to wait for a better day, but let's check it out. This thing is steep going up there. I know the camera don't show it, but we don't have a shot. Like I said, it's an easement. I mean, the best way would be able to give it the old switch back a Ruski, but not going to happen on this job. It is what it is. No gold plugs. We'll just let her go normal. <laughs> use them really unless the engine needs them you know but turn on no glow plugs where's my stack of ruski oh my key fell out hang on oh. dang key fell out all right no glow plugs starter didn't sound good though Ever since I got that starter, it always did that. The first start of the day, it goes boom, and then it goes, but uh, and then you can shut it off and it doesn't do it. It's almost like it's not meshing. Whatever. Just pushing back to brush. It's gonna be in my swell. Up on top, it's gonna have to be filled up. It's kind of like not ideal the way this set up but nothing we can do about it right now it is what it is because we got an existing house to the right we got a match we can't cut his driveway down so we actually got to come up right where that uh <clears throat> driveway to the right goes up i'd like to cut this down to get this driveway down but then it's going to create this issue going up to his driveway it's going to create a weird transition so we gotta kind of it's gonna have a thing of a roller right here it's gonna come up in the air we got a sore make our sore uh, manhole right to the left Well, this is just frozen. I'm just, I'm just burning. You know, it's just frozen. <laughs> um, even on the sides, it started to chew here, but then it got down there where I had to chew it by the wood right before the wood. It, um, it frozen again. Obviously, this is gonna this driveway right in this belly here is gonna be built up two foot, so we got our drainage on the sides automatically. <clears throat> My concern is, I mean, we have to hit this. So, I mean, this has to be this thick anyways, but this was scraped down once before and the overburden was out, but I'm not sure, you know what I mean? Like I said, I, I didn't start this job. Typically, I'd box this down a whole foot, but it might have been, all the stuff is down there, so it might have been already. I'll have to check, but um, I think that tree's got to go because we have to put a culvert in there at some point. But again, this is probably 20 feet wide. 
will only be 12 so you're automatically if we're up two foot you automatically got drainage you know what i mean there's no doubt but i'd like to knock this roller out right here <sighs> winter work that's what happens you know but it's supposed to be 40 degrees the next two days but i'm not sure if that will do anything we'll find out back on site we got a freshie we're gonna slap this driveway in about 12 13 foot straight down big steep road nice and nice let's get to it there's one smack down with the roller stuff's gonna tighten up and obviously i can get a rainstorm on it it tightens up even more but uh 12 12 and a half wide and you may be wondering people that follow me know i put it in with the skids here it's easier uh because 11 foot wide on a dozer blade those are good for roughing in this and that putting in this crusher run that narrow you won't have straight edges you know what i mean so i try to keep the edges as straight as i can get it in rough it in and let the truck do what it's going to do because they're going to cave it all in dress it up afterwards and like i said this is just so we could get in and build uh the challenging part is going to be once we get past this little blue stone and it drops off real good but uh i don't know how we're going to get the trucks up back back up out of there may have to do it with the dozer um but we'll see we'll find out they may i mean they may come up out of here but fresh material is tough
another hot one. It's going to get tricky coming in and out of here now. I'll tell you that. This wind in 50 or 63 degrees today is helping. It gives me three separate piles. That way we keep it in our line. Pretty good. All right. First way I roll is back, drag it out. Get it to where you want it. Nice smooth ramps. It's all about placing it with a dump truck too. You know, with it for the skids here and stuff. And this is more efficient, clean, nice neat edges. Uh, yeah, you can do it with the dozer, obviously. But you're gonna have a lot more work if, if you're only gonna try to make it 12, 12 foot. I mean, on a D51, I mean, cat D3, different animal. That's 10 times easier in here. That's almost like a skid steer, you know? But. Load number five, regraded, re-rolled. Back on site. Little rain last night, gonna be soft in some spots, but uh, going down this treacherous, steep part this morning. Dozer's on standby, even though we didn't need it. Kubota got it done that time, but we'll see. We will see. Same process as yesterday. Get the dozer, the skids here didn't get them out 
this time. Back it on up. We got the last one of the day coming in. We made it th through the day. Really windy, rainy on and off. Didn't really uh, bother dressing up too much because we're almost at the bottom bottom there. I throw some fabric in the bottom. Um, each load we're just dumping off and I got I to wheel them out with the dozer. So uh, yeah, four more loads tomorrow and we'll get to that stump pile. Then we'll be able to get this, another trucking company come in here and get the stumps out. And then uh, let this dry up, shape it up, and roll it back out, crown it. But yeah, it's steep, but it's uh, doable now. Real thick on the edges. You know, we got two foot in here now. Down in the bottom there, we may have two plus. We're going to make that, that, that uh, transition to flat.
just shaped it with a dozer, got her graded where I wanted it, just gonna hit it with backplate it with the skid steer, throw a couple little divots and then roll it. And let this thing set and we'll be good to go for Monday to get the stumps out. For as being as steep it is it as it is, it's working out good. We'll have the perfect uh, crown on it both ways. The roller smacks it. We hit the goal we made it down here a couple days she's not perfect but she's pretty putting it in with the skid steering you know d51 it's it's uh it's not a it's not a road grader you know so we made it down to get these stumps that's the goal we're gonna park the truck right here i'll load these out monday but yeah it's tough to get a dead perfect road graders are the best when you get to this point but to get it to this point you need the, those machines are the quick efficient blow it in shape it up looking good